Dr. Toyland. Okay, so we're going to check out the Amber Collection Jurassic Park figures from Mattel. Now, these came out around, I guess, uh, 2019, 2020, and they're still in storage. You can find these guys most places, hopefully on clearance racks, things like that. Now, initially, they came out. It had a Velociraptor, and I believe it was uh, Jeff Goldblum, Ian, Ian Malcolm, right? And I picked that up, and I loved that figure. I thought it was great. Now, slowly, they started releasing these other ones, and we have you know, Ellie, Dr. Grant, and Samuel L. Jackson. Um, and I really, really, really want to like these figures, but there's so many weird things off about them, and we're just going to get into it a little bit, okay? So let's start with Dr. Sadler over here, right? The like this is okay, right? It's it's decent. Um, the problem I'm having is the likeness here is better, but she's wearing these really goofy looking glasses. So, I mean, I guess you could probably take them off, but again, I don't want to have to buy a figure and then have to mod it just because it should have been done correctly the first time. So anyway, that's the first gripe with that, right? Secondly, she's got these, again, this is just more of a of the toy snob in me, but she's got these really beefy looking hands. It just reminds me of, uh, you know, that episode of Seinfeld with the man hands. I, I just don't get it. It's like, why? I don't know. I mean, this is, you know, 2022. These were made a couple of years ago. Why are, why are the as it is, why did they look bad? It doesn't make any sense. Um, maneuverability. Now, all the figures in this in this line, for whatever reason, cannot look up. They just they have ball joints. You can see them when you pop off the head, but it doesn't make any sense. It does not look up. He can go hmm hmm, but he can't look up, which is crazy when you think about it. They're from a movie with dinosaurs, where they'd have to look up, but. They can't. They can only look down and turn their heads from side to side. And they have these kind of limited range of motion on these guys. Um, another big problem with this figure specifically is the ankle pivots aren't really there. They're like in the boot. And there's so... You can't even turn the foot. So, I mean, for posing, you can't even do it properly. Now, when you compare this thing to, obviously, Marvel Legends or something of a similar price point that have the articulation in the proper way, it just makes these look so bad. I just, it's just very frustrating. But even when you go to other Mattel lines, like, again, I'm not familiar with the, the wrestling figures, but I know if you go to the, the He-Man Origins figures, this figure has a ton of maneuverability. Head moves, arms move, I mean, you got the ankle pivots, everything, and you know, it's a retro-looking figure, but it moves great. This, not so much. She comes with, you know, a belt with some radios and all that fun stuff in it, some other extra beefy man hands, and obviously that alternate head, right? So that's her in a nutshell. Again, if she wasn't on clearance at Target, I probably would not have picked her up. So, Dr. Grant. Probably the one I was most excited for next to Ian Malcolm. And he, you know, he looks good. The Sam Neill face looks pretty much spot on for the most part. He looks a little older, I think, than he does in the movie, but that's okay, too. The shirt is pretty much the right color from the movie. You know, this figure is not the worst. I, I like him. I think it's pretty good. It's got a similar issue with the ankle. It just it just rotates. It doesn't really pivot, which is, you know, is what it is. But he's got a slight... You know, slight more maneuverability. It's a little funny because you can do them in these funny, funny weird little poses, and that's kind of entertaining. He does come with an alternate head with these doofy looking sunglasses, but the doofy sunglasses do come off. So, and you get again a good, uh, good Sam Neill face on there. I think I like this one better than the than the hatted one. So he also comes with some additional hands, some. Circular gripping action. I guess if you want to give him the flare in the next in the uh, left hand, a uh, hand with the Velociraptor claw in it. Just uh, note that the inside of that is not painted properly. So again, just a little something they missed, I guess, on there. Not the end of the world. Comes with the flare. So if you want to pretend he could run from the T Rex that he can't look up to see, here you go. And that's 
Dr. Grant. I, again, I like this figure. This one I picked up on Amazon, 20 bucks free shipping. It was a pretty good purchase, not going to lie. Lastly, we have Samuel L. Jackson. Now, this was a in total impulse purchase because it was on like super clearance on Amazon, free shipping. I was like, you know what? I'll pick him up. This is before I picked up the other ones. And he's okay. I mean, again, the same kind of thing. He's doofy looking construction. Don't like his the forearm jackets. Limited maneuverability. Can't look up. Doofy looking glasses. Nice little bald spot. I mean, he's he's okay. I like the Jurassic Park logo on there. This one to me looks more, you know, looks more like he's a uh, like a wrestling figure, like he'll come out and introduce John Cena or something like that. Um, fun little thing, he comes with his little headphones, you know, so he can start yelling at Dennis Nedry, things like that. Alternate hands, which don't make any sense. He comes with hands that I don't understand the point of these. Was he supposed to be holding a cigarette? That I don't know. I guess you can give him a cigarette, but again, I don't want to have to start creating props for something that should have come with the figure to begin with. So, he's so got that. He does come with the ripped off arm, which I thought was a nice touch. So, you know, fun if you want to have a severed Samuel L. Jackson arm. There you go. He also comes with this, <laughs> this big old computer reminiscent of, uh, I guess, the early 90s and 80s. And I mean, look at this thing. It's a, uh, you know, it's a nice pretty sturdy plastic but yeah it's it's pretty funny it'll look good in, in dioramas and things like that so yeah jurassic park amber collection figures again if you could find them at a good price worth picking up i would not shell out any more than what the asking price is and i would definitely look for them on clearance because they're going to end up there anyway that being said i'm totally going to be picking up the john hammond figure once it's on clearance all right hope you enjoyed take care dr toyland